Hi there, this is a series of videos where I go through the creation of a simple file sharing app for Windows. Uh, if you want more, if you want to, to go to the earlier videos, uh, there's a link up there inside the cards, and that takes you to the, the playlist that contains the other videos. I'm building the application up in parts so it's easy to test as I go. And in this one, we're going to add the ability to add multiple files by, well, quite frankly, just simply zipping them up and sending them as a single file to the remote machine. So without further ado, let's get started after the fade. Right, so in the main program, uh, when you select the, the file name, I want to be able to have multiple file names. So uh, I want to say ofd.multiselect equals true because I want to be able to select multiple files and then I think I can do file names so I can do file names of the selected items okay file, to file names is zero um, now I want to check and see if file names is greater than like the length of it is greater than zero uh, and if it is, I want to change that file name. So I want to say uh, if ofd.filenames.length is greater than zero, uh, I want to make a zip file. So I want to say file to transfer equals make zip file ofd.filenames. Uh, and obviously we don't have that existing there and then everything else remains exactly the way it, it should do um, the difference is i want to be able to delete the file once it's been transferred um well that's transfer complete oh, we need to fix that um but i think that's all i need to do for this one um okay let me do that just now. So I want to have a private string make zip file, string files. Um, and I think the file names gets the file names are selected. String name file names are selected items in the box. Pass. Names. Okay, file names. Uh, we can check that here. So we can do um, for each var uh, f in files um, console dot right line f. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's the. F oh yeah, we need to do return that. Okay, so I'm going to run this one here. Uh, where are we? Yeah, I'm going to run this one here. Oh, it is running. It is running. Okay, so when I run this file, uh, I'm going to run it here. Uh, so we're on here, and then we can send the file across. So we're going to send readme.txt. So it's going to check the file length in there, and it has the, the full files. Okay, so that's fine. So what I want to do now is I want to create a zip file. So I want to have var temp file equals environment dot get um, where is it? You do this again. Temp. There's a way to, to do this. Temp. Where is it? System. No. Oh, it's path, isn't it? Path. Get uh, temp file name. Okay, so you need the zero byte temp file on disk. Uh, get temp path. Get temp file name. Okay. Um, and returns the full path of that file. Okay, that's fine. Um, plus dot zip. So it's getting in dot zip, which is fine. And then we're going to say uh, using uh, zip file uh, compression zip file equals new zip file. Oh, is it zip file? 
create uh, open and then the archive file name which is going to be temp file and then the compression mode zip archive mode oh dear uh, add reference to that dot uh, create why is it not like that type used in using well so that's not disposable so what is open to oh zip archive Go to here, zip archive. It is I disposable? What are you talking about? Bar, oh, using bar archive equals that. Blah, 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 blah. Um, <clears throat> create entry. Um, and then the entry name is going to be uh, creates an empty entry that has a specified path and entry name in the zip archive. Um, I, I'm just going to get the file name here. So I think what I'm going to do is going to do var file name equals path dot get file name. Uh, but it's got to be for each. So for each var f in files, um, get the file name of that. Uh, var entry equals archive dot create entry. Oh, create entry from file. Boom, there you go. Uh, file, and then the entry name is going to be file name. Perfect. Uh, file name, what is it all like? Oh, right, okay. Bar file name equals um, uh, path dot get file name f. Okay. And then we probably don't need that entry because it's already created that. Uh, create entry from file. Okay, that sounds good. And then what we want to do is we want to return temp file return temp file to there so that's created that um okay so i'm gonna put a breakpoint there i'm gonna start this um so the code isn't running on this machine here but it is running on the new code isn't is running on the other machine there so i'm gonna do send file um and i'm gonna choose this and this so that's two files there. I'm going to click on open. So it's doing it right. And it's going to create an archive, which is pointing to that temporary data. OK. And it's adding that to the archive. And then it's returning temp file. So if I click on that, um, I'm going to find this one here, which is but well, we can replace that TMP file. So that's okay. Uh, and then we send that to there. And then the other machine there, I'm just gonna do a quick check. Yep, it's asking to send that file there. And I'm gonna click on yes. And the file transfer is complete. Um, uh, so I'm gonna go to the GUI, then debug. And there it is there. And if I open it up, those two files are in there. Perfect. Okay. So that all works. Uh, I'll I'll show it working um, later on once I uh, when I trans when I when I when I start record on that that machine there. I'm not recording yet. Um, but let's just fix it up just now. So we've got a kind of rough idea of what it's doing. So get temp name plus zip. So I want to do replace. Uh, dot tmp 
with an empty string. So I just want to get rid of the TMP file there because we don't need it. And then the next thing I want to do is when we uh, get to transfer complete, uh, I want to check and see if uh, file to transfer dot ends with dot zip. Um, Well, the problem is I don't want to delete willy-nilly zip files, but I do want to delete um, temporary zip files. So I'm going to say, um, let's have a um, file to transfer private bool um, temp zip equals false. So temp zip equals false. And then inside, uh, where are we going to put that in here? So it's going to be inside here. So we're going to say uh, temp zip equals OFD dot file names dot length greater than one. Okay. So if, if we have a temporary file, then we are going to um, have a number of file names. So that, so if we have a if we have more than one file name in the list, then we're creating a temporary zip file. So when we complete that, um, we're going to say if it's a temporary zip, and just for security, we probably don't need to do this. In fact, we don't need to do this. Dot ends with uh, dot zip. Uh, let's delete the file to transfer. Uh, okay, so we'll just we'll just clean things up at the end of it, and that's it. That's all we need to do. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna press record on this machine here, and then we're gonna get those uh, tested up. Okay, so start recording. All right. Okay, so I'm gonna go to debug. Uh, I'm going to get rid of that one. Yep. Okay. So this is our this is our folder that we have just now, and you can see that that these are the the files that we have in here at the moment. So I'm going to we're currently running on here. So I'm going to go back to this machine here, press start, and so you'll be able to see that we have our machine down here. So we could click on send file. And then we choose these two files here uh, and then we click on open and then on the other machine here it says receive uh, blah 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 from Razorcrest you click on yes and transfer complete and you see that we now have these files over here which is inside this temporary zip folder and inside there we have the readme which should pop up here uh, cancel network send tool so there you go that's proof positive that everything worked and it says transfer complete over here okay and that's the zip file <laughs> uh, that was a rather rather short and sweet um, video thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video it's part of a series of videos where I create a simple file transfer application for the Windows operating system, so Windows 10, so on. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share. It really, really does help the channel. And if you want timely reminders of when another part of this series or any time I post up a video up, then please hit the subscribe button and notification bell and YouTube will work its magic and give you a notification when one of those videos goes up. But yeah, thank you so much again for watching and I will catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.